Layers, Game Development Tiles and Tile Maps Overview. The visual grid is often made up of several layers. This allows us to have a richer game world with fewer tiles, since the same image can be used with different backgrounds. For instance, a rock that could appear on top of several terrain types, like grass, sand, or brick, could be included on its own separate tile, which is then rendered on a new layer instead of having several rock tiles, each with a different background terrain. And here in the game, we can appreciate that. For example, we have this. Uh, these four rocks here, five with this one and pretty much we can play this game here and we are advancing so we have the same pretty much image and we are using it for these rocks here okay as well for all these kind of like a th trees okay so we have that if characters okay if characters or other game sprites are drawn in the middle of layer stack, this allows for interesting effects such as having characters walking behind trees or buildings. The following screenshot shows an example of both points, a character appearing behind a tile, the knight appearing behind the top of tree, and a tile, the bush, being rendered over in different terrain types. So we have that here. This is the the picture that they're providing us so we have the night we have the the bushes okay so the logic grid since tile maps are an actual grid of visual tiles it is common to create mapping between this visual grid and logic grid the most common case is to use this logic grid to handle collisions but other uses are possible as well characters spawning points detecting where some elements are placed together in the right way to trigger a certain action like in the tetris or a uh, major world pathfinding algorithms etc you can take a look at the demo so this is the the yeah pretty much the the one that we are using here oh well so this is pretty much if you click in their in their website so it's the mass dev that github and this is for the code that i have it right here okay so isometric tile maps Isometric tile maps create the illusion of a 3D environment and are extremely popular in 2D simulation strategy or RPG games. Some of these games include SimCity 2000, uh, Faro, and Final Fantasy Tactics. The below images show an example of an atlas for an iso isometric tile set. So let's check it out this image. So this is what we have here. It's pretty much the same image but with different colors. Okay so we have the isometric tile set performance drawing scrolling tile maps can take a toll on performance usually some techniques need to be implemented so scrolling can be smooth the first approach is discussed above is to only draw tiles that will be visible but sometimes this is not enough one simple technique consists of pre-rendering the map and a canvas on its own when using a canvas API or on a texture when using WebGL. So tiles don't need to be redrawn every frame and rendering can be done in just one ble uh, bleeding operation. Of course, if the map is large, this doesn't really solve the problem and some systems don't have very generous limit on how big a texture can be. One way consists of drawing the section that will be visible off canvas. So they're providing us with this picture here okay instead of the entire map so here we're just drawing some part not the entire map that means that as long as there is no scrolling the map doesn't need to be rendered a caveat of that approach is that when there is a scrolling that technique is not very efficient a better way would be to create a canvas that is two by two tiles bigger than the visible area so there is one tile of bleeding around the edges that means that the map only needs to be redrawn on the canvas when the scrolling has advanced one full tile instead of every frame while scrolling and fast gain that might still not be enough an alternative method would be to split the tile map into big sections like a full map is split into a 10 by 10 chunks of tiles pre-render each one of canvas and then treat each render section as a big tile in combination with uh, one of the algorithms discussed above and you have more links here and in the next video we are going to start pretty much uh, dealing with the code how to create this game so right now we just focus on the on the theory but as you can see this is going to be a long uh, 
a long project so since we are gonna start building this kind of like a mario bros type, type of game and yeah this is pretty much all that we have for this video